All right, all right, all right. Everyone has their own proclivities, but one thing I just cannot abide is things that have utility being covered. A chair is not meant to store stuff because I, <laughs> I just cannot stand when things that I need to use all the time are always covered. I don't know what a good analogy is, but like, maybe like, okay, here, here's maybe an analogy. What if every time you wanted to use the toilet, there was a big box on the toilet? Would you abide that? Would you be like, okay, no problem. I'll just, every time I want to use the toilet, I'm going to remove this box. And then when I'm done, invariably, I'm going to put another box on top of the toilet. Isn't that absurd? Now, I'm not so obtuse to not understand why it happens, but can we endeavor to not clutter the things that have utility with things that should not be there? What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> a good explanation. <laughs> well, it doesn't explain all the other crap I <laughs> on the chairs and seats and stuff. Actually, you're um, a place for everything when you saw the stuff in the garage. The truth is, there isn't any place for that stuff. Um. until and, and, and so I was like, okay, that's my goal is before summer <laughs> to get rid of all the stuff I don't have a place for. Uh, anyway, sorry for... Um... Going behind your back. <laughs> anyway, let's open this box. Ai <laughs> <laughs> Chihuahua. Look at this beefy boy. And look at this beefy boy. <laughs> These two ridiculous chonkers are the lenses I will be using for the solar eclipse. This is for my Sony full frame. This is 200 to 600 millimeters. This one, on the other hand, is a 300 to 1200 millimeter equivalent. This will be with my Panasonic GH5. This is double the millimeter ridge that we used last time. Unfortunately, I do not have my GH5 with me right now. So that'll have to be later in the vlog, but let's put the 600 millimeter on my Sony right now and let's see what type of results we're gonna get come Monday. Okay, this is at the very back of my backyard. I honestly don't even know if I'm in frame. I think I am. Uh, this is 200 millimeters on full frame. Uh, now let's see what it looks like at 600 millimeters. Run back. Cheeky little zoom in. Okay, and that's 600 millimeters. It's a cloudy day right now, so we can't actually test it out on the sun just yet. Hopefully it's not cloudy on the eclipse. Actually, seeing the ginormitude of these lenses makes me even happier with my current setup. And for our particular use case, this 70 to 300 is perfect. Actually, what was really perfect was our 100 to 300 on the Micro Four Thirds, but we don't use Micro Four Thirds right now. Give me that GH7. Panasonic, you gotta give it to me. is to restore these bad boys. They're still in pretty good shape and I really like the bright colors. They're just really fun. Let's give them a little, a little rejuvenation. The rejuvenator. All right, this is before and here is after. Definitely not a night and day difference, but a nice improvement overall. I will take it. It is now later in the vlog. Let us take the Panasonic GH5 and the Olympus 150 to 600 and mount them to this beefy tripod. Attach that to the telephoto lens. Mount that onto the tripod. And finally, mount the GH5 to the tripod. You know, I don't think the scale of how big this thing is is quite getting across. So first of all, let's zoom it all the way out. And then let's look at the telephoto that we normally use. <laughs> it's just a little baby compared to this. 
Wow. The funniest part is there are lenses that are way bigger. This is a full frame lens and it's about the same size as this micro four thirds lens. If you had a full frame lens, that could do the same thing that this one does, it would be just this massive like telescope. I'm glad I don't do sports and wildlife photography. That would really kind of kill any portability. Anyways, yes, exciting. Okay, we're currently at 600 millimeters, which is the same as the max capacity of the previous lens I showed. When we filmed the Eclipse in 2017, that was also 600 millimeters, but this lens can go up to 1200. Let's see just how far that is. We're now at a redonkulous 1200 millimeters. You know, I should probably be testing this on something that's more at the same distance as the eclipse. I'm gonna have to film the moon or something because today's kind of cloudy. Well, hopefully Monday's not cloudy. Anyway, this is exciting. Oh, and of course we need solar filters, which I have right here. Yeah, that should be good. Let's give this a test though. I just pointed at some clouds, it should be bright enough outside to see something. Okay, well, fortunately there is nothing bright enough in the sky right now. This is ISO 200, this is 12,800, and I see nothing. This is actually what you're supposed to see, some clouds. Anyway, I just finished editing the Kamano Koto bloopers. Much like the episodes themselves, that took a long time to edit, but this is a very good set of bloopers. You can watch that at Patreon, patreon.com slash adventure. Okay, uh, there's a task that has been on the list for a little while, which is to get this room uh, somewhat usable again. I don't need to get everything out, but I need to have a little bit more room in here. So uh, let's do it. Okay, that'll do it for today's vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you were able to see the eclipse. Hopefully I was able to see the eclipse and hopefully I did a good job filming it so that if you didn't see it, you get to see the video. But in any case, thank you very much for watching. As always, I hope you have a good one. I will see you in the next one. The rejuvenation, the rejuvenator. <laughs> Just watched that episode of Mad Men last night.